Can I help you? I'm sorry, Barley. Do you have a minute? I'm in the middle of something There's at the moment. There's really no if, polite look, way to say this. Um, um, I need to talk to you right now. This can't wait. Are you looking for a therapist? It's not for me. It's for a family member. What seems to be the problem? How do I put it? Uh, she's crazy and she needs to be institutionalized. I didn't realize you were aware of her situation. How could I not be? The woman is nuts. I... Sorry, I'm sorry. I know that that is not a politically correct thing to say, but I wasn't aware that Steve had told you about her. I'm sorry, uh, who are you talking about? Steve's mother, Heather Weber. Wait, wait, who are you talking about? I apologize for my lack of focus. I was huh? thinking about a different patient. Um, tell me more about Steve's mother. You said her name was Heather? Heather Weber, yeah. She's been in Ferncliff for the past eight years. The facility for the criminally insane. That's the one. What led to her incarceration? She killed a man. And I don't know all the details, but I know that she had a complete, total mental breakdown. But that was eight years ago. Presumably, she's made progress. So she's it's, uh... been given a conditional release. And Steve's agreed to take complete responsibility for her, but he's, she's his mother. He wants to help her, but he's not at all objective about the situation at the moment. Right, and you're concerned about Heather's mental state? Uh, let's just say she did not make the greatest first impression. She was completely rude, she was totally dismissive of me, and she was possessive of Steve in a way that was, it was just freaking creepy. But she was just released after eight years in a mental facility. Is it possible she was just trying to help? You see, you see, that's exactly what I tried to do. I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. That's when she kicked it up to the next level. She offered me a cup of tea. Tea? The significant, significant, if you know, if you know Heather's history. Um, enlighten me. Okay. When Steve was a baby, there was another woman that Heather wanted out of the way because she saw her as a rival for Steve's affection. So she served her a cup of tea laced with LSD. That's very unsettling. Now, you see, you see, when, when Steve is in the room, she acts all sort of kooky and eccentric, but when she handed me this cup of tea, no, she knew exactly what she was doing. It's like, it's like she was trying to scare me or, 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 or freak me out or something like that, you know? And I see, now I sound like a paranoid one. You probably think that I'm the one that needs to shrink. No, I believe everyone can benefit from analysis, but I can see why you'd be worried about Heather. I'm telling you, there is something off about her, and I just think that maybe she, she tricked the people at Ferncliff into, into releasing her too soon. Right, so you've come to me for a second opinion. Yeah, obviously I would need to talk to Steve about it and everything, but, but I just want to see what the options are. I'd be happy to, to give an independent assessment, but uh, Heather and Steve would, would have to agree to it first. Business ventures. You know, she left this place to uh, me and Bobby. Uh, excuse me. No. Hi. I need to talk to you about your mother. I'm just worried how my mom's going to react when I try to drag her into a shrink's office. She thinks she's perfectly normal again. Yeah, but we've seen enough to know that Heather's nowhere close to normal. I think at the very least, we need to hand over her files to Dr. Keenan to see if he comes to the same conclusions as her doctors at Ferncliff. I just wanted the chance to tell you I'd like to start over. Start what over? To start over as friends. I just didn't want to say so in front of the others. Sorry about that. That was work. I have a consult. How would you like to take another trip down memory lane? Come to the hospital with me. Right now? You know, that's a great idea. It'll give you time to reacquaint yourself with your son, rebond. Wonderful, wonderful. Looks right. And this time I'm going to be the one to not take no for an answer. All right? Okay. Bye. See ya. Oh, my God. This is my mother's file from Franklin. I'll read over it as soon as I can. Doctors are pretty confident about her progress. It's, it's a good idea to get a second opinion, just to make sure there were no mistakes. Exactly. The last thing we need is a dangerous, crazy woman on the loose.